Edo Speaker exonerates Obaseki attributes his emergence to members' benevolence. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. So good to have you guys back here again. Thank you once again for your continuous massive and huge support um, to this channel. We really do appreciate you. God bless you, my people. And we pray that even as you support this channel, God Almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you once again, guys. Yes, my beautiful people, as always, we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country. We know the Edo State um, House of Assembly has been through a lot of drama um, from the impeachment of um, the Speaker, Okie, and even to his um, resignation, how everything transited, the whole transition and all of that. And the insinuations and allegations at the same time that uh, Governor Gordon Obaseki was behind all of this, because we know initially when um, the House was divided, when there were factions within the um, the Edo State House of Assembly, those the factions loyal to Adam Soshomole and the faction loyal to Governor Gordon Obaseki. At that very point in time, Okie was behind um, Governor Gordon Obaseki, Francis Okie. He was rightly in support of uh, Gordon Obaseki. Even when that faction that is loyal to um, Oshomale stated at that time that they've impeached Okie and um, they started swearing in, they had a, they are swearing in inauguration at an undisclosed um, um, location and had a had a, a speaker of their own and all of that. Obaseki, he, he, he was behind Okie, but it was so shocking and so surprising that the news broke out that um, Okie has been removed and all fingers were pointing to Governor Gordon Obaseki that yes. You see, betrayer. No, <laughs> people said all sorts that uh, it was actually betrayer. Some thought that okay, that's it's a game plan. It's a it's it's a kind of uh, uh, it's politics that they are playing politics. They all know what they are doing because at the end of the day, we could see that Okie was not even offended. He accepted the terms they gave to him to actually resign and all of that. The way everything transited, it was <laughs> there was more to to it. Right now, guys, the news we're getting is that um, the current speaker. Has, uh, has spoken, the person of Marcos Onobom, you know, when um, Francis Okie was removed, another speaker was, uh, uh, was took his place immediately. He has exonerated Obaseki at the moment and attributed his emergence that it wasn't Obaseki's uh, um, doing. Obaseki was not behind him emerging as the new speaker, that it was as a result of uh, benevolent uh, members. That is quite interesting. We'll get more details as to um, all that he has cleared, because right now he's, making, he's clearing the air. Because I know a lot of people, some persons even took it personal, that ah, this was the person that really stood by you. How come? Immediately you won your governorship election right now, you had to remove him. What is going on? So guys, I'm the new speaker, uh, Marcos Unobom has got um, a, a lot of explanation to do. We'll get all of the details shortly. He has um, exonerated Governor Gordon Obaseki. We'll bring you all of the details in a bit. But before we do, guys, please, if you still haven't given us a thumbs up, guys, do show us some love. Give us a thumbs up. Click on the like button. And don't forget to subscribe as well. Hit on the subscribe button. It really does mean a lot to us. Thank you once again. Yes, let's jump into the news now and grab all of the details. The speaker... Edo State House of Assembly, Honorable Marcos Onobum, has debunked insinuations linking his emergence as Speaker to the handiwork of the State Governor Gordon Obaseki, saying the mantle of leadership was bestowed on him by the collective decision of the members of the House. Onobu disclosed this while speaking with newsmen in Benin City, the state capital, said although the Assembly is restructured to ensure Obaseki succeed, the House would not also hesitate to discharge its statutory functions of checkmating the executive in a non-confrontational manner. Onobu said, Obaseki never masterminded my emergence. We are an arm of government and independent, and like I said earlier, the support I got was from the overwhelming members of the House, and you can attest to the fact that the way the House is run now, the governor tried as much as possible to allow the business run without interference. He said, the change of leadership became necessary in order to strengthen the grounds to enable the assembly function in a maximum capacity 
towards discharging its constitutional responsibilities, adding the House has not only reunited but equally went further to commute the impeachment of the former Speaker to resignation. On what will be the fate of the 14 APC lawmakers who are yet to be sworn in, the Speaker said, the seat of the embattled lawmakers have since been declared vacant and called on INEC as a matter of urgency to conduct election to fill the vacancies as the job of the 24 lawmakers have become a Herculean tax of nine persons. We are looking forward to having a complete house and that is why I want to use this opportunity to call on INEC to quickly conduct elections to fill the vacancies and help the house to complete 24 and all the constituencies represented. The speaker who equally commended President Mohamed Buhari for his listening ears and quick response to the yearnings of Nigerian youth over the hashtag NSAS protest said, Though the peaceful protest which was later hijacked by hoodlums may have recorded some casualties, the country will be better for it in the next few years. I will tell you that what has happened now may have caused us so much casualty that in a few years from now, Taking the right steps, those confrontations, those agitations, those requests from the Nigerian youth, the country will be better for it. Wow. It's good right now. I believe um, Marcos has actually cleared the air. Those that still have this um, insinuation and have reservations for Obaseki, that what he actually did to Francis Okie, they've heard from the horse's mouth right now that Obaseki has no hand. And as a matter of fact, uh, Marcos stated something that Obaseki doesn't interfere with um, all that they do, that, there is, that they've been running the business as usual without um, interference. And um, <laughs> also, he, he used this opportunity to call on INEC to do their job, that the 14 lawmakers that were loyal to Oshomole, Oshomole that um, their seats have long been declared um, vacant. INEC has to um, call for an election in order to fill those seats so that um, they can have a full house and have a more uh, um, strength, they can have more uh, uh, hands to to serve the people which they've been called to serve. Yes, my people, let's hear your own take. I know some persons may still not believe that Obaseki had no hand in the impeachment of um, Francis Okie. Let's hear your own take down below in the comment section. Thank you once again, guys. Please, if you haven't given us a thumbs up yet, do go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Click on the like button. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Hit on the subscribe button. It really does mean a lot to us. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye for now and God bless.